Um, didn't play well e enough on either end. Um, certainly didn't shoot it well enough. Thought we had some some pretty good looks at times, but um, uh, their length around the goal was a, was a problem. Uh, we went in, we got some penetration, but their length, which we knew is formidable and, and a problem, uh, was certainly problematic for us. And um, um, made a nice little run there at the start of the second half and got it within range and then we had some breakdowns and and um, and they got us in transition a few times and, and that was really uh, as much of a problem as anything is is our inability to get back and uh, uh, and and keep them in a half court we kept them in the half court it felt like we did a little better um, but um, we didn't we didn't do that well enough all game long especially in the second half Coach, I think this was the 11th different lineup you've uh, put out there. 15 games is it just are you trying to find something that works within your team or, or it, it, I don't know if it's so much trying to find something that works as much as it is. As it is um, you know, you try to reward guys that 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 play that play well or deserve to be rewarded. And and uh, I thought based on what Shamil's done since he came back from. Not that you're asking about a specific change in the lineup, but I thought that Shamil, since he's been back from Christmas, the way he played against Miami, um, I, I thought he deserved to start. Uh, Jared had been struggling. Tried to give him a different look and hope that it would kind of jumpstart him. That didn't work. Um, so, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say that we're. I mean, of course, we're searching for something that works, but um, we, we play the same eight or nine guys. It's not like you know, if Shamil doesn't start, he doesn't play starters minutes. Or the same with Jared. I mean, Jared plays 24 minutes tonight. I mean, it, it's so it's just trying to trying to reward guys that uh, uh, that are playing a little better. Shot 34% from beyond the arc. Uh, you know, you, some three-point shooting has been an issue of, of late. Is it shot selection? Is it you know hitting them in practice? What do you think the, the main kind of issue? Um, I, you know, I'm sure that we took some contested wins because they got us late. They got us deep in the clock a few times. Okay, they 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 their defense is good and, and it got us deep into the, into the shot clock. But I thought we had a lot of open ones. A, a lot. I mean, I thought we. Uh, Jared had a number of open ones. Um, you know, Millie had one or two. Parker had some that didn't go in. And I mean, we're, we're getting decent looks. You know, our, our our biggest issue is is our inability to to really be able to score consistently around the basket, and and so that puts more pressure on our shooting. And then when we don't shoot well, then you know, then it's it's more of a problem. Does that make sense? Coach, at the end of the second half, you shout out a couple times that we used to be a pair of players a hundred thousand dollars. Could you elaborate on what prompted that? Yeah, that somebody said something bad about my play about my players, and so I'm just going to stick up for my players. Probably said the wrong thing, but um, I, I'm not going to let people talk talk crap about my players. And you know, we're down; the game's over with. You don't you don't need to insult uh, kids that are out there trying to fight hard and, and do their best. And um, so, like I said, I probably should have chosen some different words, but um, but I'm not going to let people take shots at our players. What was said? Um, did you elaborate on that? No. Was it throughout the game, or was it? Just I, 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 that's 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 enough. I mean, that's that's enough. No, this isn't the start that you wanted for conference play, but don't think <laughs> with, uh, with with eleven new players on this team, what's what's the goal now? Just trying to you know work through conference work through conference play and you know toward the postseason. You know, um, we're just trying to get better um, as. Uh, simple as it sounds, we're trying to get better every time we play, every time we practice, every time we play in a game, and and um, um, you know, you start five freshmen and and you play a, a talented team like Louisville. Um, everything has has to go pretty well for for you to have success with that, and. Um, uh, but we, we knew going into it, it was going to be a process. Uh, our guys play hard. They're good kids. They they try hard. They play hard. They try to do what we ask. And and um, all, all we can do is keep trying to help them and keep trying to support them. Um, they're they're a good group to coach, and um, uh, they have great attitudes and 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 great spirits. And so um, I just got to do a better job of helping them. I, I didn't I didn't help them enough tonight. Kevin, they shot 50% from the floor. Some of that's it was a transition they, they they drove to our goal in transition that was why they their percentage you know i don't know what they shot when when we had a set defense but um 
uh, they killed us in transition, and that was that was they just kept getting to our rim, and and if they didn't make it, they could tip it in or, or whatever, and they usually made it. But um, so. Um, um, you know that was that was the problem. I, I thought our half court defense, for the most part, was pretty solid. It was getting us in transition was the problem. You know, in the first half, there was a period of about eight minutes where you guys kind of know uh, what went with that point. That's something we've seen fairly consistently here uh, recently. How much of that, as a coach, do you tie back to just the relative inexperience in this team? I think there's a lot of a lot of. A lot of it's inexperience, and, and again, it's what I alluded to a little bit ago, the inability to throw the ball down deep and, and, and just get a bucket or get a foul from somebody inside. And, and we, don't, we don't have that inside presence developed yet, and, and um, at least without Ryan in the game. And, and so um, I, I think it's those two things. That's, you, know, we, you miss a couple open jump shots. And then if you have a turnover, if you miss a free throw, or you know, now all of a sudden uh, it feels like the dam's breaking. And and um, um, but that's you know that's where our struggles to score come in is is we, we have a hard time getting easy baskets. Kevin Marcus has had two rough outings to start ACC play. What is it about going against ACC level competition, their guards, that you think's given him some issues? Well, those two guys he's played against are doggone good. That's, I mean, that's part of it. Um, Snyder's a terrific player. Um, Newton's a terrific player. I mean, you, you, these guys are uh, a lot of times the best players on their team, and and that's a, that's a tough position in this league. And and um, um, you know, he hasn't hasn't played great in these two games, but. Um, Marcus is, has been a good player for us. He's going to be a very good player for us, and and um, um, so I'm not I'm not upset with Marcus at all. I, I just I mean, again, Snyder's he's doggone good. I mean, he's really really good. So um, some of it's just you line up against the guy, and 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 you got a tough guy across from you, and that's what's happened to Marcus in the first two games. And it's not going to get any easier because everybody in this league just about has a guy that's at that position that's it's that's tough like that. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Players will be available on Sunday.